So I, I returned to Anambra last night uh, just to come and see this erosion site. Because what I saw on the videos sent me by Chief uh, Ezonka was frightening. And you have seen it yourself now. Um, uh, I will take the videos of this visit. I take it to Abuja. Uh, first of all, to the Senate President, so that we we'll see how to uh, provide money. If there's no available fund now, this is an emergency situation. Government should be able to source funds, either through service-wide votes, to come and uh, arrest the situation here. Accordingly, the Senate resolves to urge the federal government to direct the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing to commence immediate repairs and reconstruction of the affected parts of the initial Oweri Federal Roads, and particularly the sections between Upi Wake around about in Onisha and Oba, in the Demli South Local Government Area of Anambra State, which spans about six kilometers. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, this my motion seeks to protect local manufacturers in the procurement processes in Nigeria. In this case, on the ongoing national mass metering program of the federal government. Accordingly, the Senate resolves to one, urge the federal government to immediately suspend the transmission company of Nigeria, TCN tender for World Bank funded national mass metering program phase two, in order to undertake comprehensive review of the procurement criteria to prioritize local manufacturing and assembling in line with local content and backward integration policy that catalyzes local capacity building, employment generation, and the economic growth for Nigeria. To also urge the transmission company of Nigeria and other stakeholders to negotiate and engage the African Export Import Bank, AFREXIM, and the African Development Bank, FDB, for alternative loan if World Bank loan conditions do not favor local economic growth at this critical time of massive unemployment and devaluation of Naira. This idea of uh, giving us a loan and we bring people from outside to come and uh, utilize the loan. And our manufacturers will continue to suffer. Our people will continue to lose sources of, sources of employment. This Senate is invited to intervene in this regard. I want to draw the attention of the Senate to the Eastern Rail Line, the, one, the only rail line in the old Eastern region up to today. Mr. President, you recall that in the 8th Senate, I moved a motion for the inclusion of the Eastern Rail Line in the Nigerian Railway Modernization Project. The Senate passed it with other additions to it from members. But up to today, because the caption of this motion is to rescue the Nigerian Railway Project from collapse, the Eastern Rail Line has indeed collapsed. Let me use the opportunity of this motion and the prayers to make an additional prayer. And that additional prayer is to urge the federal government of Nigeria to include the Eastern Rail Line in the Nigerian Railway Modernization Project. The way the police abuse commuters and transporters on the highways and all the times we have considered this in the past. It has always been condemnation of this act. So I want to put in a, an additional prayer that will focus on punishment for this offense. That the Inspector General of Police shall be requested to investigate these reports of harassment and abuse of commuters and travelers and in proven cases, summarily dismiss the officers involved so that these bad eggs will be weeded out of um, the highways. Mr. President, I have a petition from one of my constituents 
a final year student of the University of Abuja. His name is um, Igwe Chukwe Meka Shepren. He hails from Ichida in our natural local government area of Anambra Central Senatorial District. Mr. President, very pathetically, this young man and uh, one or two others who were in the student union government were rusticated after they've completed their studies. They were waiting to collect their final results and prepare for youth service. But they were accused of um, circulating a press release which they have denied, resisting the increment in school fees by the University of Abuja. The companies mentioned here now that are doing Aba Ekotek Bene, Omoahe Omodike Ekotek Bene, and Abosioma Potakot Highway are, to me, very unknown companies. They are incompetent companies. That is why these rules have remained in the current state they are. So let us support government efforts by putting proper contractors on the roads so that they will deliver. 621 billion naira already handed out by the NNPC Company Limited. It's more that if we properly utilized with competent contractors, we will not be talking about this delay anymore. Well, these roads that my brother has brought the attention of the Senate through this motion is a very, very important road. This road leads to the, the food basket in Anambra State, the Ayamelum area of Anambra State, famous for rice cultivation and uh, many other food crops. This road traverses through it into Kogi State. So I want to support uh, that the Federal Minister of Works list this road among the priority roads that will require federal government intervention for the economic value the road will add to the development of the nation. If you ask me, this lady is our own equivalent of Mother Teresa. So let's encourage her to get all through to that office and use the opportunities that will be available to her through government to try to change uh, a lot of things, particularly the scant attention we give to the less privileged in society. She's already on it as an NGO and with many other things she's done. Across Nigeria, she's had a lot of interventions um, uh, trying to go to different places to bring people out of distress and I think as a humanitarian that she is, she deserves to be supported by all of us.